welcome back. It is currently a Friday night. I have no makeup on my face. My hair is up and I'm wearing like the grubbiest clothes that I could have possibly worn um, because it is ladies night at my house. So my two best friends from high school, Sand and Kendra are coming over tonight. Um, we haven't seen each other since like right before Christmas, like before I left for my trip to California. So they're coming over and I wanted to do like a wine and cheese night. We've been talking about that for a while. So I went out yesterday and bought a bunch of stuff for like a charcuterie board at Aldi. And then I had a couple things that I had gotten from Trader Joe's. And I'm gonna show you guys just how I'm putting together this cheese board. I've never done this before. So we'll see if I'm actually as fancy as I think I am. But um, yeah, so we're gonna do like wine and cheese and I've got like some other random stuff to throw in there. Um, so yeah, I'm basically just gonna walk you through um, how I'm gonna put it together. All of this was super affordable. All of the um, cheese and meat and like crackers was like 24 to to $30. So that's like extremely affordable. If you guys ever buy like fancy cheese, it's expensive. And um, like all of this is basically the same price as I could get with like for one block of cheese at my normal grocery store in like the deli. So um, if you are looking for like a cheaper option to have like a little bit fancier spread, um, definitely check out Aldi. Their cheeses are really good and they're really affordable. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you guys what I got and then I will show you guys how I put it together. Okay, so starting with the crackers. So I got basically some knockoff Triscuits. Um, I love Triscuits. And I, I know people, I feel like it's like Triscuits, Triscuits against Wheat Thins. I'm not the biggest fan of Wheat Thins. I actually am with some of these cheeses, but I figured like we're not gonna go through a whole, or a whole box of this. So I wanted to get something that I could potentially use afterwards that I would actually enjoy eating. So got that. I got these rosemary crackers, which I'm super excited to try. I've never tried these. And then just some pita crackers. I figured these were like pretty universal. You know, they're not gonna have a lot of flavor um, one way or the other. So that's what I got for like crackers. Um, I just got one package of hard salami. I'm not doing a lot of meat on this um, charcuterie board because only one of my friends eats meat. The other one does not eat a lot of meat um, or a lot of red meat. So just got one package. Once again, I wanted something that I could, you know, potentially use um, if we had a lot of extra. And then for like the side, wow, I don't know why I'm out of breath. Okay, gotta take a breath here. Okay, and then for the side, I got these chocolate or dark chocolate covered espresso beans from Trader Joe's. Um, I got those when I was in California and thought that would be a good like sweet side. And then for some more salty, I just got these pistachios. Um, I could have gotten like a bag of nuts, like almonds or something I think would probably be better and a little more convenient because you won't have to shell them. But um, I didn't want to get a big bag of nuts and then just have a ton left over. So I'd, I'd already gotten these at Trader Joe's and so I just figured I'd use those. And then for the cheeses, I got, this one is like a cranberry cinnamon goat cheese from Aldi very excited for that I got just some cheddar cheese curds kind of basic um, in case the girls aren't too adventurous <laughs> um, some of the brie which is the double cream brie I believe I've had this before and it's almost like butter it's so good and then I got a smoked gouda which I love smoked gouda I'm so excited to try that um, and then I do have one more uh, thing of goat cheese that Jonathan is bringing over. So um, I'm so hot, I had to take off my sweatshirt. But um, so yeah, so he's bringing that other one over and um, then that will be the board. So I am going to go ahead and put this together and I'll show you guys how it turns out.
Okay, so here is the final cheese board. I decided to cut some stuff out just because we were running out of room. So this is that honey goat cheese that I said Jonathan was picking up. Um, I decided to put that one on instead of this cranberry one just because this one I would imagine is going to be a little bit messy. And I figured we'll see how this one goes over first. And then the cheese curds in a couple spots. These are the rosemary crackers, the brie and the gouda, some salami, focus here, pita chips, more rosemary crackers, and these are the um, dark chocolate espresso beans. So, got some wine out here. Well, now we're just waiting for the ladies. Hi guys, welcome back. Um, actually, I think this is just gonna be part of a vlog, so welcome back to the vlog, I guess. Um, so I left you guys off with a, um, let me see. <laughs> I left you guys off with a, um, like an affordable charcuterie board and, um, it was a really short video, so I figured I would kind of just throw it into a vlog. Um, today I'm going to be showing you guys a bunch of random, very random stuff that I got at Trader Joe's. Um, this stuff I actually got while I was there over Christmas and New Year's, so it's been a while. It's all non-perishable stuff, so it's not, don't worry, it's not getting rotten in here, but um, I actually had to get it shipped back um, from California. So Jonathan's mom and brother-in-law were so nice to do that for me. So um, anyway, so I'm just getting around to showing you guys what I got. I haven't even taken a lot of this stuff out of the box. There have been a couple things that I did take up or take out and brought them like to my work uh, for snacks and stuff. Um, part of it, actually, I think I showed in the uh, charcuterie board video. I got like dark chocolate covered espresso beans. Those I actually left at my friend's house. So, you know, there's a couple of random things in there. Um, I'm going to straighten this out a little bit. Um, so there's a couple of random things that, you know, I've already dug into like some pistachios and brothels to work, but the majority of the stuff is still in this box. So I'm going to show you guys what I got and let's just go ahead and get to it. So first things first, good old jar of dill pickles. So these are just the Trader Joe's organic kosher dill pickle spheres. If you know me, I love me some pickles. Always like to have them in the fridge because a lot of times I crave them after I work out. Um, don't know if that's like a sign of a deficiency or something, but <laughs> that's usually when I want to eat them. And then they're really good for just if you want like a little snack. Um, next I got, what is this? Oh, some flaxseed. So, um, I know this is a really good way to add fiber into your diet. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to use these. Um, growing up, my parents actually would like sprinkle them on like peanut butter toast or you put them in like smoothies, um, that kind of thing. Um, I'm sure it'd be an easy enough thing to just sprinkle on like pasta and stuff too. What do you think of that? What is that? Um, oh, she's real excited now. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I haven't figured out how I'm going to use that yet, but, um, they have real, a lot of omega threes and, um, a really good and full of fiber. So we'll see how I end up using those. Um, next I just got some coconut oil. They actually have really affordable coconut oil compared to what I can get here. I don't know if that's just Trader Joe's or if that's just California. I don't know. Um, so I figured I would get some of that to use for cooking and baking. I also got a box of their cornbread mix. So Jonathan's mom made this. Um, you think it smells good? <laughs> Jonathan's mom made some of this while we were there and it was so good. I love cornbread, but this was like super, super good. I could have seriously eaten the whole freaking pan of it. So that's really good. Excited for that. Um, I also got a couple things of beef broth and or beef bone broth. <laughs> wow, I can't say that. And chicken bone broth um, just used for cooking as well. Got a couple of those. And... Let's see what else we have in here. Oh, uh, yes. I'm very excited for these things. So I got a lot of salsa. I love Trader Joe's salsa and I wanted to try a bunch of different kinds. So I got five jars of salsa. So first one is the Hatch Valley salsa. Um, it just says with fire roasted hot green chili peppers from Hatch Valley. So that sounds really good. I really love like salsa verde, um, especially like Qdoba. Oh my gosh, their salsa verde is so good. I could drink that with a straw. Love it. So hopefully that tastes similar. Um, another salsa verde. This is just the Trader Joe's salsa verde. It says with fresh tomatillos and fresh jalapenos. So I'm guessing this is probably going to be a little bit more spicy. I got the salsa authentica, which is just a really good like 
typical everyday um, red tomato salsa. It is a little bit more spicy. They show like the spice factor there and it's definitely, it's probably medium, high medium or hot medium salsa. Then I got the Trader Joe's garlic chipotle salsa. That sounds good. This one I believe is more mild. Yeah, so it's a little spicy. It's not too crazy. I typically don't like mild salsas, especially from the grocery store because I feel like they're like just very bland or like almost like sweet tasting so I prefer like medium or hot salsas um just because I feel like they have better flavors and the last one is this pepita salsa which it shows a pumpkin is that like I don't know what dry roasted pepitas is that a pumpkin I don't know but it looked good and it sounded just like something different that I'd never had before so it says a bright and balanced salsa with tomatoes, chopped pepitas, I hope I'm saying that right, pepitas and spices. Pairs well with just about anything from tacos to grain bowls. So that, I'm really excited for that one. That one sounds really good. So, um, like I mentioned, I also got um, some like pistachios that I just brought to my office to have in my snack drawer as kind of a healthy, salty snack. And then I also got those chocolate covered espresso beans as like a little sweet thing, but I think I forgot them at my friend's house. So she's probably <laughs> got those. Um, so yeah, just kind of a random assortment of stuff. Um, nothing no really rhyme or reason i did not even realize i didn't even remember that i got this many jars of salsa so that's gonna be a uh, filling up my cupboard for a while probably because i don't really want to open more than like one at a time i don't know which one to open first but um yeah i'm also very excited because next month actually is my friend's bachelorette party and we're going to minneapolis minnesota and they have really good Trader Joe's there. So I'm very excited to go there. So there will probably be another haul with a little bit better assortment of like frozen food, fresh food, and like the non-perishables because um, that'll be, I'll like go there um, before I drive back. So I'll be able to actually get a better assortment of stuff. So that will be coming up probably in the next month or so. Um, yeah, I'm going to go make some nachos and try out some of the salsa. So um, that is it for this portion of the vlog. And I will see you guys in the next clip. Godzilla's lap, bumps. Macy, come here. Macy, come here. Come in. Just pick her up. <laughs> I, I can't without her. Uh oh. <laughs> She's off. <laughs> I know. Is that so much fun? Was that so much fun? <laughs> Did you love that? Oh, you're so funny. <laughs> okay. You want to go again? You want to chase us? Huh? You want to chase us this time? <laughs> yeah. Did she jump off or did she fall off? Oh, okay. <laughs> your shirt's all wet or your coat. <laughs> Hi, did you have fun? No, Macy, come here. Come on. <laughs> Alright, we gotta let him go off his jump, okay? Okay. Come on, Macy girl. the zoomies. Go, go, Macy, go. <laughs> yeah, I know. Was that so much fun? <laughs> yeah. 
is as at the bottom. I know. You're so funny, guys. I think, I, I think I'm retired. Yeah. Short and sweet, huh, Mace? I don't need this. Away. Really? Turn around, I bet your back is first. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Come here, Mace. No, 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 come in. <laughs> Go. Go. Macy, hey puppies. <laughs> Macy, bring it here. Bring your ball. Come on. You throw it. You throw it. Good job. Hi guys. Happy National Margarita Day. We are celebrating. Is this mine? I hope this is mine. Yeah, we made margaritas. Just taste it and figure it out. That's my problem. I don't want to taste that. So we made margaritas. Uh, we made carnitas. And Macy Girls. We don't leave anybody out when it's Mexican night. So we made some carnitas put them in tacos, and we are giving Macy her very own taco. Your own carnitas so, taco. Basically, we're just giving her a corn tortilla with the meat on it. We're gonna throw a little bit of the beans in there. Not gonna make it too crazy. We'll give her a little treat. She'll She's tired and hungry. She got a little extra exercise today because as you guys saw before this, we took her sledding today, and she had so much fun, but it was pretty short-lived because we were soaking wet. <laughs> Cause it was really warm out. It was like 46 today ish. Um, cold. Just cold no, so but wet. yeah, once you got wet, it was super cold. So we're going to give, me. give me the girl her little taco. So we'll show you guys that. Yeah, not lime. She hates limes. Do you guys follow me on TikTok? You probably don't, but if you're on TikTok, follow me. It's mostly pictures of, or videos of Macy. And I have a video from like, probably like a year or two ago where she's like playing around with a lime. It's super cute. So anyway, we're not putting lime on this, but uh, maybe we'll do that later. We'll give her her own little margarita. We'll give her a little slice of lime with salt. Does She'll hate it. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure it's just Audrey Lee's on TikTok. Okay. Go follow me. Um, yeah, so Jonathan's making her little, little taco. Hmm. She'll probably lose a little right. Yeah, we'll put some rice on there. So we're gonna give her her little taco and we'll show you that and then we're gonna eat. And that's probably gonna be our night. Well, gonna give her a we're gonna drink margaritas, but. Huh? No, we'll just give it to her. The whole, the whole thing? The whole thing. Macy. All right, here we go. Let's taco. see how she does. Okay. Macy, you want a treat? You want your taco? Jeez. Okay, come here. Okay, sit down. Sit pretty, sit pretty. Stay. Stay. Make her spin around. <laughs> spin around. Good. Sit pretty. Stay. 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 <laughs> She's filming it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm dumb and I forgot to record the last clip, so we had to give her a whole nother taco. <laughs> Yeah, two tacos. <laughs> two tacos. I don't think she likes a tortilla very much. <laughs> she just likes the meat more. Let me see if she eats a tortilla. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Macy. That's all you get. She's literally the messiest eater. That is all you get. Mmm. 
just so good. It's just so good. Happy girl. Happy girl. Oh, so cute. You don't want bloody. Hi guys, so I just got done with all my grocery shopping. Um, I didn't get that much, but I figured I'd show you guys anyway. Um, just cause why not? So I'll start with the stuff I got from Costco. I'm gonna like reach down and grab it all. So this is gonna be fun. Um, so I got more raspberries. Their raspberries are really good price there. I mentioned that in my meal prep video last week. Um, also got a big thing of blueberries and more blackberries. So I have really been liking just taking like a little Tupperware full of berries, um, either for breakfast or for like an afternoon snack because I always want something sweet in the afternoon. And so it's um, a really good way to kind of curb your sweet tooth cravings um, by just eating berries. So I got those and then speaking of curbing your sweet tooth. I got two bags of these, which these are dark chocolate and white chocolate covered frozen blueberries. They were on like super sale. Jonathan is there. Um, Jonathan works at Costco for those of you that don't know. And he so these are normally like $12. These are on sale for like $3.97. So I got two bags of them. They're really good. Um, and I mean, there is, let's see, nine grams of sugar per serving. Um, two grams are natural sugars. So it's not terrible. Um, it could be better, but just a nice little snack. And once again, if you have a sweet tooth, you don't want to eat like a whole bowl full of ice cream might be a little bit better option. Um, they just look like this. I opened one of the bags already to see what they were like. Um, if I can get this open. So this is just what they look like. They're just covered. And then there's a blueberry and it's covered in dark chocolate and white chocolate. So really good. Oh God. Um, so I got two bags of those, and then, mm, so then I think I told you guys that we have our, um, roommate dinners every week, and it's my turn to cook tomorrow, so I'm making a homemade pizza, so I got this ground sausage from Costco, it's like five pounds of it, I will probably use like two pounds tomorrow, and then I'll just freeze the rest. Um, and then, so I put pepperoni and sausage on pizza when I make it homemade. Um, so it's really hearty. So that's what that's for. And then I also got from Costco this organic falafel. So I'm going to do my meal prep again this week with the potatoes, roasted potatoes and broccoli. But instead of adding in sausage, I'm just gonna bring some of these on the side. Um, as like my protein source for those of you that don't know what falafel is it's like it's like a patty that's made with um ground chickpeas or garbanzo beans or however you want to say it so like these the ingredients are chickpeas water some sun, organic sunflower oil organic cilantro onion powder blah, blah blah a bunch of spices so really it's like cilantro and chickpeas is what it is so i'm excited to try those i usually really like falafel um the only thing is i'm nervous that they're going to be like mushy since they're not like fresh you know like I could bake them but it says to microwave them so anyway we'll see how those are um so that was it from Costco then from Hy-Vee I'm sitting in the Hy-Vee parking lot right now um I got so tonight for dinner Jonathan's getting off work early today for some reason he just got scheduled for a shorter shift so he's going to be coming over for dinner um, and I didn't really want to make like a whole huge meal. So I'm just making, um, like a yakisoba recipe. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, it's like an Asian noodle recipe, like a stir fry. So I got cilantro and shredded carrots for that. And then I'm going to use broccoli and I have some leftover bell peppers that I have sliced from last week's meal prep. And then I got these noodles as well. And then I'll just make a sauce um like a teriyaki type sauce then 
for the pizza. I got a bunch of cheese, a package of turkey pepperoni, pizza sauce, and pizza crust. So that's all I got. So um, yeah, we'll see like how well this all lasts me through the week. Um, I'm trying to think. I have one work lunch this week. I think I only have one. So, um, I should be good with, like, meal prep and stuff, but it's always dinners that I always, like, end up not having quite enough food for. So, anyway, we'll see. I still have, like, salad stuff from last week, and so I'm, I need to get better about, like, reusing what I have or just using food that I have. I'm so wasteful, honestly, when it comes to groceries, but that is what I got for this week. Um, I think that's probably going to wrap up this vlog, guys. I, it's so random, literally such a random vlog, but I just had a lot of like small little groupings of content, and so I figured instead of doing three short little dumb videos, not that they're dumb, but like doing like three super short videos, I would just throw it all into a vlog. So, hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Hope you guys are having a great week. Um, spring is coming, guys. It's coming. I'm ready for it. Can't wait to get some warmer weather. So it's a gloomy day today. I think Macy is super tired from being at my dad's yesterday. So we're going to go kind of just chill the rest of the afternoon and get ready for the upcoming week. So have a great day, guys. Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. I have totally been liking vlogs lately. So um, that's what a lot of the content has been lately. Hopefully you like that. Um, but anyway, subscribe for more and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.